So when you often you see this little robot here, it's a contract, and it may be interesting because you might see a case where a, a fund is buying a token, but they're not doing it directly through the wallets they have. Instead, what they do is they will use a market maker or a, a contract to make buys within certain prices within the market at a specific time, a specific time frame. And in doing so, they get the price they want at the execution. And then they'll transfer the funds through a middle wallet and then move it to their funds, um, which can be really, really interesting. And sometimes you find some interesting stuff. And so let's go through another address where you can do this. But in the meantime, when I load this, I'm just trying to see if I can find an interesting address for you all to share. And in this case, I can actually. So in terms of the whole finding addresses where you'll see a, a contract or something buying a token, we discovered this um, the other day and we haven't posted about it just yet. And the reason why we haven't posted about it just yet it's because the address has 1.2 million in USDT and they've been actively buying this token for, uh, across, I think it's a bridge. And they've been actively buying. And if we go to their transactions, we can see da, 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 that they, let's go to what a profile of the token. I think this is a better view of this. we can see if we click on the clock here they buy 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 and you can see when they're buying and it's very very frequently so they're aggressively buying and if we look at what they're the price they're buying at it's clear that they're buying at a certain price and if it hits above a price then they are slowing down but what's really interesting here is that we can see that there's been a volume out um, and so you might think that they are selling so how do we determine whether or not they're selling let's just have a look into their transaction activity within this token so to see if there is anything here. So I'm going to change the view here quickly. It's better for me. And this is a really good way of how you can use on-chain data to discover a really interesting alpha. And this is something we won't post on our socials because we are actively monitoring this address because I'm really interested to see where it goes. If you've got, if you're buying this token aggressively and then you are continuing to buy and you are moving funds out, maybe there's a fund here that is buying a token or building a position it doesn't want people to know about this and so what we can see here is that nine days ago that this token here this address sorry trading for implementation sent or withdrew sorry tokens to this address here top circle depositor and we can see that they sent five hundred thousand dollars worth of time and it's now worth eight hundred thousand dollars and we see they withdrew two million tokens so let's have a look into this address and so you can see here it's not too actionable. We go to the counterparties. So counterparties, again, if we go to the tool tip, shows you the list of addresses that the wallet or entity has interacted with in order of their flow. And we can see a wide range of addresses here. And so that doesn't really help us here in this situation because we know there's a few different addresses here, but we can't really identify who they are. But what we do want to follow is the token activity. So we'll go to this address here, we'll right click, and go to a wallet profile of the token. So we can see that they still have 16,000 in this address. But what about the rest of the tokens? Let's have a look. So we can see that they've still got the tokens here and they've got the price at 25 cents. And we can see that they received the tokens from the address that we just found. And they would also transfer a significant amount. So the two points, just over, just under 2.1 billion tokens to variant. And so when we go here and look at the one year view, we can see the address has been pretty dormant up until the last month where they've been building this position in the token here we've highlighted. So here we've just shared an interesting workflow on how sometimes you might see a contract that is buying on behalf of a fund, in this case variant, where they would do the buying execution based on criteria that has been set out. And that contract would be aggressively buying in the market and the reason why they do that is to get the best price if they were looking to buy one million dollars worth straight away especially if a token with a low market cap which is about 300 million at the time 250 million something along those lines it could really throw things off so it's not going to be good and plus people will be seeing what they're doing in the market and they might want to copy and the whole benefit of the fund using a contract or using an extra wallet to buy is so they don't get caught so the benefits of using a fresh wallet you see here and you can see 
now they are holding this token here. And if we look at what a profile left token, so we right clicked on the token here, we can see that they're already up 56% on their holdings, which is really impressive to see. And it's also why they're still a smart fund. So that's just a small little tip and trick on how you can do some due diligence and how you can just track some addresses. And then we'll go back into Ondo that we were looking into earlier. But that's just one of the reasons why sometimes you'll see these 